Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media tutorial as a guest designer for the Crafters Workshop. Enjoy! I created today a colorful Dreamcatcher canvas using a lot of the Crafters Workshop stencils. The first thing I did is I used some gel medium on the canvas and I stuck some script tissue paper on it and sealed it with the medium. This is a pretty large canvas. It's a 16 by 20. That's why I had to um, just try to fit it into the frame and it's very bright at the top of the canvas because that's where my light is. But either way, I tried to show you all parts of the canvas and moved it around so you can see all the different areas. Once I covered the canvas with the tissue paper, I didn't cover the top area because I was going to put the top of the dream catcher there and it would just cover the writing. But what I did is I used some white gesso and just gave it the canvas a white wash on the background so it would cover the script area a little bit but would leave some areas alone. Then I took some fluid acrylics in blue tones, turquoise and blue and I just using a wipe I wiped the blue all over the canvas and covered it in different blue tones. The blues help to bring a little bit of darker shadows in the background once you add the bright colors on top of them. And that's why I added these dark blue colors onto the background. Once the blue paint was dry, I used uh, the Crafters Workshop Circles and Circles stencil and I created half a circle at the top. This is a very old stencil, one of the first ones I've ever had from the Crafters Workshop. Then I took the black gesso and I painted inside the outline circle, just covered the whole area with black gesso. Once the gesso was dried, I took the circle stencil again and created a smaller half circle inside so it would look like the ring of the dream catcher. Then I took the trapezoid flower stencil from the crafters workshop and using modeling paste created the pattern of the dream catcher inside the half circle. To create the hanging feathers, I use the 6x6 four feather stencil from the Crafters Workshop. To get a crisp image, I use some masking tape to cover the feathers I didn't want to use. First, I use the black modeling paste from Deco Art to create the silhouette feathers on the background. First I created three feathers and then I washed the stencil and flipped it around and created feathers going in the opposite direction as I didn't want all the feathers to go in the same direction. 
I use this exact stencil in the same way on another The Crafters Workshop video that I created called The Tribal Woman and you can see the link above. It's used in the same way but it shows the versatility of using it in different projects. I wanted to add an odd number of feathers because it always looks better balanced so I added seven feathers to the canvas. Once I was done creating the black feathers, I took off the masking tape and then used it again to cover the feathers stencil I had just used to, so I could use the other feathers that were on that same stencil and getting a crisp image of them. I wanted to create the inside of the feather of, on top of the black feather that I had done. So I used modeling paste and stenciled each of the feathers with the same stencil. Of course, again, after I did a few of the feathers, I had to dry them up and wash the stencil and then flip the stencil around to do the other feathers. To create some texture inside the half circle ring, I used the XOXO, the Crafters Workshop stencil, and used modeling paste and went around the half circle to create that pattern. I let my modeling paste dry overnight and then I applied some acrylic paint onto the Dreamcatcher and the background using fluorescent pink and orange and yellow and green. I also painted the feathers in the same neon colors to make them match to the Dreamcatcher. Then I started applying paint to the canvas background and I slowly worked my way around the canvas blending in the colors as I went along until I was happy with the result.
I flip the canvas around and using Faber-Castell's Stamper's Big Brush Pen in black, I started highlighting and outlining the dream catcher. Once I was done outlining and doodling with the black marker, I used a white Posca pen to outline and doodle with the white marker. I use the same markers to outline the feathers all around, both in black and in white. I created the black strings holding the feathers and then I outlined them with a white marker and added some designs to the strings. Then using 
the same markers I added some pretend looking beads onto the edges of the strings and to the feathers to make it look like there's beads hanging off them. To create a black border around the canvas I used some black gesso and then patted my paintbrush to create an uneven border around the edges. I also took the opportunity to paint the edge of, of the canvas in black. I also diluted some of the gesso and using a fan brush I added some splattering to the background. I took the Crafters Workshop texturized stencil and added a little bit of splattered uh, stencil patterns onto the background. took the XOXO stencil again and added some texture lines around the canvas. I also added the same stenciled lines with white gesso to create some contrast. diluted the white gesso to create some white splatters on the background. I took the white Posca pen again and highlighted some of the stenciled areas with my pen to just bring them out and make them stand out. I wanted to darken the background a little bit so I took some violet colored fluid acrylic and using my paintbrush added a, a very thin layer of the paint to create kind of a wash onto the background. This helped to create contrast between the dream catcher and the background. I then used a wipe to wipe off and blend some of the paint.
added the shadow paint, I realized that the white highlights were gone, so I used my white Posca pen again and highlighted all the feathers, the strings, and any area that had been missing. I also use the white marker to create a white line border around the canvas. And then I use the marker to create some more splatters onto the background. I wanted to add some gems to the strings and the feathers and I started adding some star-like gems and then some glitter-like gems and I like the glitter ones better so I took off the star ones and just other Prima gem crystals onto each feather and onto the connection to the dream catcher itself. I added some white doodling to the strings because I felt it was missing some lines as you couldn't see them very well. Finally, I added a title called Dream using some chipboard letters in white and glued them with the gel medium. Then I took a black marker and outlined the gemstones and the letters of the title. Finally, I outlined the gemstones in white and I was done. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For more inspiration, visit my blog. Bye!